Alright, so, you know, I usually don't say this, but, uh, I'm an idiot. Alright, so my last video where I did the windsurfer test, whatever, apparently I put it on backwards. Now, I can only blame myself because, you know, I really didn't do enough research. I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm me, whatever, I was trying to be slick. But that's not how you're supposed to put it in. So I got over 100 views in just, like, in less than 24 hours, which is actually pretty good considering, you know, I'm not, I'm not Casey Neistat or roaming out with anything, so I'm, thank you guys, I appreciate it. And the funny thing is that I didn't even know I was doing it wrong during the test, I just realized after. So I got a bunch of comments everywhere on YouTube, on Facebook, a lot of negative comments saying, you did this wrong, you did this wrong, you did this wrong. Let, let's read some of them. All right, so some of the comments I, I got on Facebook are, I am actually puzzled how you can think the antenna booster should block the antenna. Reshoot. See, like, like this guy, he even posted a picture of the proper way to put it, which I did it completely wrong. Probably would help if it was facing the right direction. And the comments on YouTube were even quite even a bit just more aggressive. I was even called stupid by this one guy, look. Surprised you managed to fly anywhere with it fitted on the wrong way around. Cannot believe anybody can be so stupid enough to do that. He basically called me, Danny, stupid. Now I do gotta give a special shout out to Gavin. Gavin, he was really nice, really chill. Thanks for the demo, man. I suggest you redo the demo with the correct way around. It would be interesting to see if the range get extended further. Very chill comment, very nice guy. I like this guy or girl's vibe. Just very respectful. Okay, so after seeing all those negative comments, come on, let's go. It's time to do the test and let's do it right this time. Alright, so here we are in the same exact park where I did the first range test. And right here, we got the drone. Let's unload this thing. Drone, battery, transmitter, range extender. Alright, so as you guys all know, last time I did it wrong. But this time, I learned how to finally put it on right. Not this way, but like that. And it, I mean, it makes sense too, because you see this reflects off the signal that goes to the drone. So it does have some logic that I really, really failed to look at. All right, so we're gonna go right into the range test. I'm sorry, you know, I gotta record from the screen, but that screen recording app got deleted a while ago. So I know it's kind of ghetto and not good quality, but that's all I got. So let's go. Okay, so now that we got it at around 200 feet, it's time to pull back on the stick, see how far this goes. So we hit the 1000, 1000 mark, we're still going strong. Some normal interference warnings coming out 2000 feet. That's fine, that's all fine. RC signal lost. 2,268. So it kind of just blacked out on me. I'm, I'm waiting for some, you know, some response. It's returning home. So finally at 1,200 something feet, we get to see it come back. All right, so I canceled the return to home so I could just hand catch it. Now we're back to 46 feet. Right now, we got the drone right there, but it's time to catch that thing. So now I'm here at the park, we're gonna compare some range on the Phantom using this thing and does this really work? So the regular Phantom 3 standard shot of the box, we got 2,024 feet, keep that in mind. Now, the day I put it on wrong, which all of you guys gave me all these hate comments, I got 2,318 feet, so that's pretty far. And now today, the day I put it on right, I finally did everything right, I got 2,253 feet. Honestly, if you really wanna up your game and you wanna get really long, signal on it just get a Mavic or a Phantom 4 but I'm saving up for the Mavic because you know that thing's beautiful all right I hope you guys enjoyed the review keep watching and subscribe for more content